Cycling for half an hour every day will do this to your body. Hey there viewers, this is Kurathalan from Neutro Plus. Welcome back to our channel. Today we will discuss how cycling for an hour every day will change your body. But before we start our video, make sure to subscribe to Neutro Plus so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Not only is cycling great at boosting both your physical and mental health, it's also one of the cheapest, most accessible and easiest ways to let off steam and engage in endless hours of life's most treasured commodity fun. So let's get started. For enhanced muscles, increased flexibility, longer life, boosted confidence to improved mood, we are talking all that and more. Improves mood. The runner's high isn't just for runners. Any form of exercise can help you feel great afterwards, including cycling. Activities that get your heart pounding will release energy-boosting hormones called dopamine. After a nice bike ride, that dopamine rush can help improve your mood and energy levels. If you typically feel an afternoon slump at work, going for a quick ride outside during your lunch, break may be exactly what you need to stay energized and focused. Weight loss without the extreme diets. Cycling is one of the best methods of exercise to trim fat and lose weight across your whole body. There's a reason. The pro-ride bikers are so damn lean. Just an hour of cycling can burn as many as 1000 calories depending on the intensity you are riding at. Refueling has also never been more fun. With the number of calories lost on a ride, you will need a few post-ride guilt-free indulgences to get your calories and energy levels straight back up. In fact, within an hour or more of pedaling your metabolism into overdrive, you will be burning calories faster than you can cram them back in. You also don't need a heavily structured workout to start shifting that weight. Spin classes are great, but opting for the bike instead of the car on your way into and out of work will do so much more for your overall fitness and weight loss. Commuting by bike in fact has been proven to be one of the best effective ways to lose weight. A study found that people who switched to cycling from driving lost on average 7 kg over the course of a year when riding just 30 minutes each way. Improves heart health. By getting your heart rate up, cycling strengthens your heart muscles. It also reduces your risk of developing several cardiovascular diseases including stroke, high blood pressure, and heart attack. Moreover, compared to those who lead a sedentary lifestyle, those who participate in physical activities such as biking can experience an overall improvement in cardiovascular function too. And while we don't recommend ditching your blood pressure meds just yet, there's a reason to believe that including cycling into your daily routine might have a positive impact on your blood pressure. Releases anxiety and stress. Another important mental health benefit of cycling is relief from anxiety and stress. Cycling helps you balance cortisol and adrenaline levels in the body. When the perfect balance between these two is attained, stress is reduced. This is perhaps one of the healthiest ways to deal with stress. This calming activity allows your brain to focus on breathing and pedaling. These two become the prime focus and that in turn shifts your focus from all sorts of negativity and anxiety. Slowers aging. Researchers found that high-intensity cycling and other high-intensity interval training can have major anti-aging benefits down to the cellular level. The study found that people who did high-intensity exercises had an increase in mitochondrial capacity. A decline in mitochondria can lead to physical decline so the better your mitochondria can function, the more rejuvenated you will be all the way down to a cellular level. Enhances muscles. While you may accept that cycling just builds up the legs muscles, it's a complete body exercise. Remaining balanced and upstanding on the bicycle reinforces and tones the muscles in your stomach region. For instance, guiding the bike also encourages you to develop the muscles in your arms and shoulders. Don't disregard the leg muscles. Besides, leg muscles assume a crucial job with regards to cycling. When you are in the backstroke or upstroke some portion of accelerating, you are utilizing flexor muscles in your hips and your hamstrings at the thighs rear. Increases flexibility. Flexibility is one of the most important aspects of staying fit and minimizing the risk of injury. 
If you feel your lower body remains stiff, then cycling is the best option for you. From loosening quadriceps to hamstrings, the calves cycling helps maintain flexibility. Not only will being flexible make you feel light, but it will also improve your posture and balance. Boosts your confidence. You may find this absurd, but cycling really does boost your self-confidence. While cycling, your body releases the serotonin mood neurotransmitter. This helps you stay stable and confident both physically and emotionally. Cycling also induces positivity, self-esteem and self-confidence. Besides this, it allows you to get a perfectly shaped body which is also an important self-confidence booster. It's easy on your joints. When you sit on a bike, you put your weight on bones in the pelvis, unlike walking or running where you put your weight on your legs, knees and feet. Even elderly patients with knee pain and osteoarthritis have been shown to improve their condition with cycling. It's gentle on the body but still packs a punch. In addition, it also improves posture and coordination, improves brain power. There's a good reason why studies show that our mental skills are improved after a bike ride. It's all to do with the white matter in your brain. You may have heard about gray matter, but white matter found beneath the brain surface acts as a conduit. It links different regions of the brain together like a cerebral subway system. Evidence from a study conducted over a 6 month period showed that healthy people who regularly pedaled increased the integrity of their white matter helping their brains function more smoothly reduces cancer risk the incidence of diseases such as cancer can be reduced significantly by adopting physical activities such as cycling studies show that for those people who took up moderate to high physical activities like cycling in early and middle ages had a reduced risk of cancer compared to the ones that did not another study investigating the relationship between cycling as active commuting and cancer suggested that cycling as a method of commuting can be associated with lower cancer risk helps you sleep better everyone can use some extra sleep in a study researchers asked sedentary insomnia sufferers to cycle for 20 to 30 minutes every other day the results showed that the time required for the insomniacs to fall asleep was reduced by half and sleep time increased by almost an hour exercising outside exposes you to daylight this helps get your circadian rhythm back in sync and also rids your body of cortisol the stress hormone that can prevent deep regenerative sleep boosts your immune system cycling can help your immune system fight off nasty bugs The thymus organ is responsible for your body's immune cells. From the age of 20, the thymus shrinks and your immune system declines by 2 to 3% each year. By middle age, the thymus is down to 15% of its maximum size, so the body relies on the antibodies it has gained from fighting germs over the years. Physical activity like cycling can help your body flush out bacteria from the lungs and airways, which reduces the chance of a cold or flu taking hold. A rise in body temperature while exercising also prevents bacteria from growing and fights infection gives you a longer life according to one study of tour de france riders cycling actually increased the racer's longevity on average the former pros lived to 81.5 years compared to the general population 73.5 years a 17% increase another study suggested that even casual bike commuters benefit For individuals who shift from car to bicycle, it was estimated that 3 to 14 months of life could be gained compared to the potential downsides of bike commuting. Another recent study showed that riding between just 1 and 60 minutes a week could cut the risk of early deaths by up to 23%. Better balance and coordination. Cycling also improves your balance and coordination. These qualities help with aspects such as body awareness and reaction time. They help prevent falls that could occur as well which could lead to a worse injury down the road reduces back pain posture when cycling is optimal and the cyclic movement of the legs stimulates muscles in the lower back this is where slipped discs are most likely to occur in this way your spine is strengthened and secured against external stresses
In particular, cycling can stimulate the small muscles of your spine, which are difficult to affect through other exercises. This can help reduce the likelihood of back pains and other spinal problems. How often do you cycle? Let us know in the comment section below. So viewers, this is it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you can watch more amazing content from Neutro Plus. Stay tuned and goodbye.